Hey everybody, what's going on? My name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. If you like making money, I can help you do that. Subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up. Uh, I'm gonna go over ratio investing. This is one of the favorite uh, presentations that people liked in the past. I know we have a lot of new subscribers, so I wanna make sure everyone understands what this presentation's about because I use it quite extensively in my investing. Uh, I do invest a lot in stocks, but this is using precious metals, which is physical precious metals, very low risk, very high returns. Uh, if you can do this ratio investing, which is just swapping between metals uh, back and forth. So I'm going to show you a scenario of ratio investing of swapping physical metals back and forth. So I call this presentation ratio investing. So we're using the metals, we're, we're using ratios and and physical precious metals. We begin with $10,000 and we start in the year 2000. We are going to use all five metals. That's gold, silver, platinum, palladium, and rhodium. I'm gonna show you the buy points and the ounces as we walk through this example over time. So remember $10,000 and we're starting in the year 2000. So we need to know what's cheap. I've got all of the ratios up here. Gold to silver ratio, it's up over around 65. Silver is cheap in relationship to gold. This is platinum to silver ratio. Uh, one ounce of platinum could buy about 100 ounces of silver. So this is silver cheap. Platinum is, is ex well, I would say platinum to palladium ratio. I would say platinum is cheap. And then rhodium to platinum ratio, uh, platinum's cheap. So since silver is cheap to platinum and platinum is cheap to these other ones and silver is cheap to gold, we want to invest in silver. And these charts, these are ratio charts over time. The year 2000 is in these red circles. I created these charts. These are yearly averages. This isn't spikes, it's nothing. It's just a yearly average. So we are in the year 2000. We were trying to determine what to buy. And I just chose based off of the ratios that silver would be the best of all the metals. So in 2000, we, we understand that silver is cheap looking at the ratio charts. We deploy our $10,000 into silver. At that time, it was a $5 average price of that year. We have $2,000, uh, 2,000 ounces of silver in the year 2000. Doesn't that work out great? 2005, 2000. <laughs> so next, uh, over time, we noticed that the ratios had changed. We've got rhodium to silver ratio. Remember, these are averages throughout the year. It came down and kind of bottomed, and we wanna buy on the bottom. So 2003, it bottomed. The rhodium to palladium, rhodium's cheap. Rhodium to platinum, rhodium's cheap. Rhodium to gold, rhodium's cheap. So rhodium's cheap against all of the metals during this time frame. So this is a no-brainer. You want to swap to rhodium. So we swap our silver to rhodium. The ratio is 97 ounces silver to one rhodium ounce. 2,000 divided by 97, we have 21 ounces of rhodium. So we're holding rhodium in 2003, and we're going to look for ratio changes over time. So we're, we're going through time, and in 2007, we notice that it gets expensive. Rhodium is expensive to silver. Rhodium is expensive to palladium. Rhodium is expensive to platinum. And rhodium is expensive to gold. And we're like, well, what do we need to go into? We have to go into further analysis between the other metals to see which one is the cheapest because we know that rhodium is the most expensive metal of all of them because it's, it's expensive to every single one. So we look at gold to palladium ratio. Uh, we look at palladium to silver ratio. So palladium is cheap to silver. Palladium's okay to, to gold. Palladium's cheap to platinum. And rhodium is also cheap to palladium. So palladium is the one that we want to swap our rhodium into because it's the cheapest against all of the metals. So we swap our rhodium to palladium. The ratio, if you looked at the ratio, uh, rhodium to palladium ratio, it is right here. It's about 20 so it's, we use 17, so it's rhodium, we have 21 ounces of palladium. We use the ratio of one to 17. 21 times 17 is 357 ounces of palladium in 2007. So we have 357 ounces of palladium in 2007. So we, we look and we notice that palladium gets expensive to some of the other metals. We've got palladium to silver ratio, rhodium to palladium ratio, that's dirt cheap. Platinum to palladium and gold to palladium. But Rhodium is dirt cheap in 2016 to palladium. So we, we swap our metal. Uh, we swap palladium to rhodium in 2016. The ratio is a one-to-one -one relationship. 
So we, so we swapped 357 ounces of rhodium, uh, our palladium to rhodium. So now we own 357 ounces of rhodium right now. So today's price and conclusion, and remember, we didn't do any transactions in dollars. We're swapping metals to metals. Uh, this is 20 years of trading precious metals, not a single transaction of platinum or gold, just an FYI over this period. It was mainly palladium and rhodium transactions. 357 ounces of rhodium is what we have today. The dollar amount when I did this uh, calculation was $5 million. I turned $10,000 into 5 million in a 20 year time frame with a return of 38.6% annualized. Now you're gonna say, that's great. And I just wanna make one other uh, thing. So we have 357 today, that would be 7,140,000, just to let you know. So we'll pop back in here. Uh, right now, platinum, is absolutely cheap against all of the metals. So platinum is the one that we wanna be focusing on right now. Platinum is dirt cheap. Uh, they're just giving it away. It's like, hey, you want, you want, you know, buy two, get one free of platinum. That's what's going on right now. Platinum is dirt cheap. Looking out, market balances in the future, there's market deficits. Those deficits, granted, they're not immediate. They're out a little ways. It's for fuel cells. Uh, they're gonna ramp up hybrid vehicles, which is a gasoline electric uh, engine. And since they don't burn as hot, they have to load the catalytic converters with more platinum. Palladium is very expensive right now. So they're gonna substitute platinum for palladium. So everything's kind of going after platinum because platinum is so cheap in relationship to palladium, in relationship to gold, and in relationship to even silver. So platinum, I think is a exceptional opportunity for physical holdings. I've been accumulating physical platinum since 20, late 2019, all the way, even till today, uh, I would still accumulate platinum. This is the ratio game. This is how we swap between metals using ratios. This is how you increase your ounces uh, of holdings. It's pretty simple. I created all these charts. You can look and find these charts online, type in, platinum to palladium ratio and you'll see in google images what a chart a long-term chart looks like for that you can also use stockcharts.com and other charting software to chart the ratios and a lot of the time i'll chart ratios in market updates and you can see it when i do it but platinum right now is the one i think to own if you like this content subscribe to the channel give me a thumbs up leave comments if you guys have any questions and thank you for listening. This is Finding Value.